What's up everyone, Wild Schneider Outdoors, and today we are back for part two of the build on the trailer for the refrigerator box. So what we got going on here is this box right here needs to be completely sealed from the rest of the trailer. Now the reason that that is, is back here we have a vent. Now the refrigerator itself is a propane refrigerator. That's the primary method of cooling that we're gonna be using. So in order to continue to use that propane, it's gonna get hot, a lot of heat's gonna be produced and you know potential for carbon monoxide and just all those exhaust gases from the propane fridge itself need to be vented somehow and we want those sealed off from the rest of the trailer. So what we need to do today is we need to get the paneling for this side, the paneling for this side, which is also the separation between the bathroom and the refrigerator itself those all need to be put in and then we need to caulk around it and then up here you can see we've got up some spots marked out for the hole that's going to be this vent right here which is going to go up there and that allows the air to flow in from the side right here and then up out the top so that's what we got to do today potentially we might even start framing in the bathroom just so that way we can get that started got to get the door in we need to be able to get everything framed up so we can start doing the siding. Now, we're getting really close to being done. Really, all we have to finish up is the bathroom. We need to get the water heater put in, the refrigerator put in, all the wires run for the lighting and you know the electronics for all of that stuff, plus the plumbing. So that way, once that's all in, we can start on the cabinets, because we can't do those until we have a wall for the bathroom. Once the cabinets are in, we can put in the sink, the stove, and then figure out the plumbing for that. And then once that's done, once you've got all of that done, then we can start doing the siding. And when you get the siding done, you get the roof on, the roof's gonna have our permanent lighting. And then once all of that's done, then we can put in the floor. So lots to do, but today's part two of probably a three-part series for the refrigerator, as the refrigerator doesn't get here tomorrow, but got a lot to do, so let's get going. Okay, so essentially, if you couldn't tell from what I was doing, all I've done is put in a wall, pretty much, that's gonna separate this cabinet, which is gonna house the fridge up here, and the water heater and the water pump and all the piping down there. It's just to separate it from the rest of the trailer. So I understand there's gaps. It's not 100% perfect, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna go back through here with caulking and seal everything up. But as long as we have that in there, that separates that portion from the trailer. That'll keep the exhaust gases from the fridge out. That'll keep the heat from the water heater kind of out of the trailer. And also what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to be putting pretty much like that cabinet. We have to have some sort of face on the side that we're going to be staining. So when we get the wood for that, we'll also put it on this side too. So that way it'll look somewhat like a cabinet. We're going to have to get this stuff right here, which I'm not a carpenter. I'm not someone who works with wood a lot, but we'll get some of that and we'll put it on the front here so that way when we slide the fridge in, we can drill into that and that way it'll all kind of match. And all of our cabinets are gonna look like this, um, except they're gonna be stained. So pretty much that's that. Now I think what I can do today to continue with this build is I'm gonna go ahead and start framing in at least this corner of the shower. Um, once I can get that in, I don't think we'll have any issues um, continuing over. We're gonna have to figure out the door. It's way too tall and you need airflow, but we may have to cut the door. But either way, we'll get that portion in and then maybe we can, uh, maybe we can get going from there. We'll see.
All right, so that's one board in. I'm sweating like crazy. So we were gonna do a full up studded wall against here, but we figured because we already have this frame in and it's fairly sturdy, um, adding this plywood, this treated plywood, shouldn't be an issue because that wall is really not gonna support anything, but we will have out here a wall that runs all the way through studded wall with two by this stuff right here. And that'll run all the way to the front of the trailer and that will be studded because we will be putting a door in there and that'll separate the bathroom. So one more sheet to go and then that should be good and then we can probably get started on the framing. All right, so simply because of who I am as a person, I forgot to turn on the GoPro when I was putting this piece in. But anyways, we had one sheet of treated plywood that we had to cut a base for, for the refrigerator to sit on, um, just for, you know, moisture purposes. So that went there and then we we're like, oh no, we may not have enough for the back wall for the shower, but because I am the king of making it work. Yes, I know there's a gap up here, don't worry. We will have a roof or a, a ceiling that we're gonna be installing so we're not seeing all these exposed rails. But because I'm the king of making it work and I really don't wanna go out during this pandemic, got it in. So it's in there, we will have noises. The tub will sit back against there. Wow, it's coming together. I have actually, I'm actually really excited about this. So the tub will go there. And then this is just an extra piece of two by two that we're gonna be using to do the wall. But it'll sit here, not necessarily 100% flush. I know, I know, don't worry because this is gonna be trimmed out when we put all of the rest of our pieces in. So little bit off just a smidge but guess what made it work so that's exciting that's all gonna go there we'll have everything put down below get everything all framed up that's coming up next so we're gonna start on that after my meeting I do have to work from home so I have a meeting I'm gonna go to and then I'll finish this up so stay tuned That's gonna do it for today. One thing, I never thought I'd say this, but we gotta be done. I ran out of wood. So we're gonna finish where we are now. Not bad. Let's go back and take a look. You can see, got the two by four framed up here, along with the two by two on the bottom. Then we're gonna have to get another piece of wood to run along the top. We gotta get the door figured out. I figured the wrong way was to match it to the door size. False, the door has to open, you gotta have hinges. So my bad there, we'll have to fix that. We need another spar to go up. And then we also need to frame in a little bit of wood here to get the nozzle for the shower, for the bathtub. So that's gotta go in. So still got a bunch of stuff we gotta put in. Not a big deal, but at least this part's done for the most part, starting to take shape, you can see it's dark in there, but it's starting to take shape. Anyways, I appreciate you, appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Add a comment down below if you feel like leaving a comment. I try to respond to every single comment that you guys leave. Um, I love interacting with anyone who's watching these videos, so I really appreciate it. And of course, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. You know this build's getting close to coming down to the final stretch once we get the refrigerator, which is coming in tomorrow then we're gonna really start buckling down and getting this done. So I appreciate everything you guys have been doing as far as responding to these videos. And of course, as always, stay wild.